That is a great in bump dubbed by Tags and Brendan there. Nicely done, fellas. Now, throughout the season, we're going to be visiting with some of the play by play voices across the Major League Baseball landscape. We're calling it Step Up to the Mic. And our first guest is John Book Shambi. He's in his fourth season as the play by play voice on the Marquee Sports Network for the Chicago Cubs. You can also hear and see him on ESPN throughout the college basketball season on ESPN TV. Hey, Boog, uh, first of all, you're our first guest to this brand new segment. I mean, where does that rank on your list of career accomplishments? I'm in. You know I love the show. I, I am I am I am honored. So I, I appreciate it very much. This is cool. Hey, uh, Boog, tell us how are the experiences different calling both baseball and basketball? You know, it's funny. What ends up happening is I got to call the World Series for the first time this past year, and it was such a thrill. And then going into college basketball, it ends after two hours. And when my first college basketball game is done. My reaction is always like, that, that's it? You guys, <laughs> anybody want to run full court? Because I'll call it. Like, it's just over, and I don't even, I, it, it's, it happens that quickly. Um, it's just faster. There isn't the space for stories and engagement. You're a play caller, and you're setting up your analyst is probably the, you know, the main thing. How often are you recognized in public by just your voice? Like, maybe you're in the line at a grocery store or at a convenience store. D does that ever happen to you? It does. I, you know, I will say the guy that I grew up initially watching the first time I was in person with him, I recognized his voice. I grew up, I was born in Philadelphia. So the Phillies were my team and I moved to New York. Um, and that's where I was, but Harry Callis and I was yes. at old pro player stadium and I was in the food line and Harry's ahead of me, but his back is to me, and I just hear, I'll have some lasagna, green beans, and I was like, oh, my God. And then you interview him, and I felt like I, I was speaking to Harry Callis, and I was experiencing my voice like, so, Harry, I was wondering if it was – and, but it was a thrill to meet him. So, yeah, I get it sometimes with my voice. I would say, you know – I have a, a size to me and recognizable hair, so it happens. Hey, this is obviously a, a challenging climate to do what you do because, one, people watching at home think that they can do your job, and they think that they can do it better than you. Uh, what is the biggest misconception about doing play-by-play? -play? Oh, that's a great question. I don't know if I'm not sure everybody fully understands what the job is. Like I would start hmm. with, if you ask most people, I don't know. I don't, I think I would put at the audience. If you said, what's a play by play guy and what's an analyst, I would say probably only half the audience would get it. Hmm. Um, so like to start at, you're just, you're trying to document the game and you're trying to engage your analyst, I don't, it, it's a, I would need more time to give you a better, more thoughtful answer in terms of misconceptions, yeah. but it's also a little bit, I would say when people judge, I, I say it's, we're like ice cream. You put it in your mouth and you decide, I like how it tastes. I don't like how it tastes. And for the most part, people don't change their mind on it. So that's, I, I think that, that the, the, the perception and the, and the judgment is it, it's usually pretty immediate. Uh, we were talking in our previous segment about the National League Central, and there is it, it, it seems like this division as we stand now here in mid to late April, it is wide open. What do you see from your Cubs so far this year? Initially, they didn't play great defense. That's starting to normalize. Um, this is a good lineup. You have three guys specifically in Bush, Talkman, Hap, really grind. And overall, I think it's going to be a lineup with a lot of depth that doesn't rely on one dude. When Suzuki comes back, he makes their lineup more potent. I think offensively, they will be just fine. They'll walk. They'll be a middle-of-the-pack strikeout team. I think the issue is, are they going to have enough pitching? Um, you know, I, I think that they're going to catch it at a, at a high level. I think they should be right there for it um, going to September. Imanaga has been excellent. What have you seen from him? 
Yeah, I, you know, the one thing you heard about was that the velocity on the fastball, I saw Brian Kenny do something on it the other day. The velocity on the fastball is like a tick below league average, but the carry is well above league average. And he's done this great job of living at the top edge of the zone with that fastball where they can't catch up, like basically a ball above the zone at times or a ball inside the zone at times, and then the splitter down. And he's worked it very well. Now, he gets a lot of fly balls, and there are going to be times during the summer where at Wrigley Field yeah. that's not going to play so well, and he's just going to have to to keep going at it. He's not going to turn into a sinker ball guy. We'll get you out here on this one, Boog. I read an article uh, in an interview you did with uh, Richard Deitch from The Athletic, and you were asked about advice for potential young broadcasters. And it, it was interesting that basically your answer was less is more. I was wondering if you could elaborate on that a little bit. I mean, look, I just think that at times, especially on TV, you lay out, you talk a little bit less. Um, I think that trying to be as efficient as possible with your word choice is something that will help you, whether you're on radio or on mm. TV. So the, 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 the most efficient way that you can express what you want to say, what you're seeing on the field, I think, is something. And that really comes with, with reps. Well, Boog, uh, you and Jim Deshays are a great listen. There's a lot of great listens across the league, and uh, definitely that booth is uh, fits in that category. Thank you very much for spending a little time with us uh, this morning, and uh, enjoy the Astros. Oh, oh, yeah, we got Hello, D-Row. Miss Lady. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey. How you doing? <laughs> hey, Boog, thanks very much for uh, spending a little time with us today. Enjoy the Cubs and Astros later tonight. Thanks, guys.